10 o'clock news starts now. Well, tonight on Fox Carolina, we investigate. The attorney general pointed out in today's news conference, South Carolina is just one of five states without a hate crime law. Right, those other four states are Arkansas, Georgia, Michigan, and Wyoming. The latest FBI data, which is from 2013, shows a total of 465 hate crimes reported in those five states. Well, tonight we're focusing on South Carolina, where hate crime legislation is back in the spotlight following the Charleston church shooting. And of course, Race is believed to be the motive in that deadly shooting, but the language of hate crime laws go much deeper, and it appears the language of hate crime legislation could be the issue on getting it on the books. The shooting inside a manual AME has forever changed South Carolina. It ultimately brought down the Confederate flag on state house grounds, and today it's sparking a renewed interest for hate crime legislation. There's still a high degree of hate. Uh, bigotry and uh, uh, situations that would speak out for hate crime legislation. State Senator Carl Allen says he sponsored and co-sponsored such legislation in the past, years before the Charleston massacre. We saw the need then and many of us still continue to see the need for hate crime legislation. But as upstate attorney Grant Varner points out, in the case of Dylan Roof. He's already charged with murder. He's already facing a death penalty. The odds of him being found not guilty are slim to none. Coming in and adding a, a hate crime provision to it or a hate crime charge or a hate crime enhancement or however you want to phrase it is really just securing a second bite on, of, at the apple on the slim chance he's found not guilty. Varner says where hate crime legislation really becomes a factor is in cases where the punishment wouldn't typically be a lengthy prison sentence. You add a hate crime bill to it that may significantly add to the amount of time someone may be facing if they committed, in fact, a hate crime under a bill. There has been at least one high-profile case in the last eight years where hate crime legislation was catapulted into the headlines. In 2007, Sean Kennedy was killed outside a bar by a man who allegedly yelled anti-gay slurs before the attack. He was found guilty on involuntary manslaughter and spent a year in prison. Legislation was introduced to get a hate crime law on the books but it failed. Now is the time for hate crime legislation. Uh, no more sleeping at the wheel. Uh, it is real, it is evident, and if it occurs in this state, the state of South Carolina, we need to have legislation and laws on the books that will address it, uh, whether it's racial hate or whether it's sexual hate. Senator Larry Martin, who is chairman of the Judiciary Committee, says he's not against any such legislation. I'm certainly willing to consider a hate crime law, uh, but I'm not inclined to support it. But he admits he has his concerns. I don't want to start creating certain classes of victims, uh, whether it's murder, kidnapping, rape, whatever it is, sexual assault simply because a person fits a definition that might give rise to a hate crime. Now, I do want to point out, Senator Martin says he would be more than happy to allow a subcommittee to look at a possible, at a possible hate crime bill, and if they crafted a bill he could be comfortable with, he would entertain the legislation.